Hi, Chris. Welcome to my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. This is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what's coming up for you in the month of October 2024. Today is the 30th of September 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 7.51 p.m. And Chris, I'm giving away free personal reading for a lucky winner once a week. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Aquarius. It's free to subscribe. If you've commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. Are you ready, Aquarius? Spirits and angels, please show me. Important note. What's coming up for Aquarius in October 2024? Please bear in mind that this a general reading may or may not resonate with you. Always use your better judgment in making important, crucial decisions. I swear to you, Aquarius, not a sword to verse. This is your energy. This card has been coming up, I think, for most of the readings that I've done so far. I think you are my sixth sign reading. <laughs> so, I don't know. I guess I'll just have to tell you like a similar message, Aquarius, that you need to slow down, okay? In October, you need to slow down. In terms of what you say, it could also mean decisions that you're going to be making. Do not be impulsive, okay? Take your time. And um, also, it could mean that something that you want to move very quickly, you want it to happen very quickly, and it might be it might not be happening as quickly as you want it to be because the wheel of fortune here is in reverse there is a reason why some things are not meant to happen that quickly it takes time maybe the universe says it's not ready yet you you won't be ready for it or it could just mean that when the time is right it will happen so you just got to be extra patient okay in october page of swords this is also your energy you could have been waiting for it thinking about it and the moon here is, is in the first so you could be starting to feel a little bit anxious about something um, that you like to happen as quickly as you would like it to be but if it doesn't happen in october you just got to make sure that you, you got, just got to make sure they have you have that patience okay don't try to push it the more you try to push something um or rush something it's just gonna backfire and that's definitely what i'm seeing here now king of wands here is in my first third pentacles and verse another thing i'm seeing here is that you can't force somebody to do something you know um that they don't want to because it's free will at the end of the day Ten of Cups and the Temperance here. Yep, again, a lot of patience. Um, and Temperance is an angel, okay? Just have faith. Just have faith that if you've, you have if you have done everything that you could, then at the end of the day, there are some things, again, that you cannot force, that you cannot rush. Just let it be. Have faith that everything is going to turn out the way it should be, okay? Whether it's good or it's bad, there must be a reason for it as long as you know that you have done the best that you can, okay? Done the best that you could. Ten of Cups is here, Seven of Wands. Some of you could be waiting for somebody to reconcile with you. Um, the world here is in one verse. For those of you, Aquarius, if you haven't moved on from someone yet, I feel like this person is very guarded. This person may not want to take actions towards you through the pentacles in my verse. That's because they may still be very frustrated with the situation or that they may still have certain anger towards you, okay? That's just for some of you. Now, this person could be a family member or could be somebody you are or were in a uh, relationship, romantic relationship, could also be a friend doesn't matter. We've got the tower here. Something unexpected might happen in October. Um, three of Wands in reverse. But also what I'm seeing here, again, Aquarius, if you're a lack of patience, you might just, you know, with the tower, again, it could actually backfire. So treating people with kindness, uh, showing patience, that's going to yield a better result than trying to rush or Seven of Wands. Uh, standing your ground and saying, I, you know, this needs to be done right now. You need to tell me right now. Like, 
like there's a very pushy energy that I'm picking up on uh, in October. You might feel like you have to do that, but deep down, you know that you shouldn't do that because it's just going to push something or someone further away. So just make sure that you're in tune with yourself. And, you know, with the uh, temperance again, you know, it could mean also that you need to balance your emotions. Okay, don't let your emotions get the better of you through once in a verse, turning your back on something that is completely out of your control because the tower is something that is completely out of your control. If you can't control something, just let it be, okay? When the time is right with the world fortune, you know, in due time, it will happen as it should be. And also we've got the Hierophant again, having faith that everything is going to turn out the way it should be. Queen of Wands in my verse and the King of Wands in my verse. So, okay. Some sort of insecurities. If you're going to feel insecure in October because of somebody or because of work, whatever it could be, don't let your insecurities get the better of you, okay? The full and reverse. I do see this tendency of making mistakes, certain mistakes where you might regret it later because you either want, it, you want, it, you want the answer like ASAP now or you're just too pushy. Um, that could be a mistake, okay? Just, uh, I feel like it's very important in October Aquarius for you to show that you can, that you have self-control, that you're balanced and you're not gonna, you know, flip at any time with the tower here. Tower can be very unpredictable because it is unpredictable. How can you pre predict the thunder, right? You can see the thunder is, uh, the lightning is striking the tower right here so things are unpredictable best to just let it be have faith again that everything is going to be okay but if you try to swim against the current it may not be it might not yield again the results of the outcome that you could be looking for uh, again the temperance and ten of cups is to stay harmonious with everybody um because sometimes, again, with the Queen of Wands, I feel like, again, I keep hearing that word insecure. If anybody is going to provoke you in October or make you feel insecure about something, don't do anything about it, okay? Because the Queen of Wands, or delay your actions towards it. Take your time with Page of Swords to assess the situation before you say something, before you do something. On the other hand, Aquarius, it could also be somebody whom has made a mistake in the past where they would like to you know, balance this connection with you or reconcile with you. This person might come in and try to um, fight for you, fight for this co a connection, but you still need to make sure if this person means it, if this person has changed, because Will of Fortune could make it change. Is this person the same as how he or she used to be? Because it looks like with the tower here, you and this person may have had a tower moment in the past that may have gotten you kind of stuck, or maybe it could also mean that this person hasn't moved on yet, may want to fix things with you, but look at it in a very logical, practical way if this can actually be fixed, okay? Uh, because the tower could mean that something, it's just like trying to put together a piece of mirror that has been broken, you still are going to see the cracks, right? The hermit here is in reverse, yeah, it could mean for some of you coming out of your hermit mode in, in October. Uh, I do see you socializing with some family or friends. But the Hermit reverse could also mean that some of you may feel a little bit lost in October as to what to do, um, searching for some answers. Again, you can't, you can't push, you can't push it, okay? You can't be too pushy because the Hermit reverse, now the Hermit is also somebody very wise, so make sure you're wise in the decisions that you make. Before you say something, make sure you don't be hasty, okay? Not of sorts. And reverse here. All right, Aquarius, uh, this is your reading. I hope it serves you well. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. It's free to subscribe. If you'd like to book me for a personal reading, a lot of people tell me that I'm very accurate. All info is below. And also another thing is I'm going to be giving away free personal readings in October, mid-October, during my live stream, only for an hour or an hour and a half. So um, make sure you don't miss it, okay? 
If you don't want to miss it, click on the bell notification button. That way you'll be notified and you won't miss the live stream, the free personal reading live stream some, sometime in October. All right, take care, Chris. I hope to see you back here again soon. I love you. Bye.